Hello and welcome to the Rainbow Liberation when we build a community that supports and respects people of all demographics. Um, I'm your host, Quentin, and for this first episode we're going to cover a dark topic, a very serious topic, um, domestic abuse, which concerns most rightly the female demographic, but really concerns everybody, and can also um, affect directly um, men, children, and gays and lesbians. I'd say women and children are probably the most directly, but you should think of it as um, it affects everybody. Um, society society starts with the family, with the home, and like, domestic abuse disrupts weakens or destroys home life, family life. Um, and that would well eventually weaken society like a ripple. Well, it's hard to explain. The footage you'll see is from Bristol Community College from River Campus, Massachusetts. Um, this first clip is t-shirts that were decorated by women who had been victims of domestic abuse. And each t-shirt has symbolism, has some words, tell the story. So if you want to pause the video and read each t-shirt, you're welcome to do so. I, I made the sweep slow enough so you'd be able to pause between t-shirts and take a closer look. So, roll clip. Next clip is a sweep over the tables who came to Fall River Campus, Bristol Community College, from various women supports centers and agencies. Um, they had pencils and bracelets and other stuff um, but and it also has a sticker they had a lot of information about safe dating and domestic use and um, I won't go over each pamphlet in this video. I might save them for later videos if um, if later it seems appropriate to have additional videos on this subject. Um, there are also Mass that symbolize women who were victimized of domestic abuse. Um, and I did not read in the service. I wish I did. Um, I mean, I didn't read the stories on film. 
but maybe maybe you will see me one or two of those stories on camera that just oh um captions below the mass. Anyway, we'll clip you'll see what I mean. This last clip is a interview from with a woman from the Fall River Police Department. She specializes specializes in um, cases of domestic abuse. She she helps women make sure they are in safe, um, protective custody, um, among other things. Um, anyway. um, hello, what's your name? My name is Paula. And Paula, what's the name of your organization? Uh, I actually work for STAR, and I work for the Fall River Police Department. I am the domestic violence advocate for the Fall River Police Department. Oh, um, and, um, so you, what exactly do you do as a, um, um, a advocate for the Fall River? What I do is, um, I look through the police reports, all domestic violence incidents that happen in the city. I reach out to the victims and um, see if there's any services um, that they would be interested in that I can help them with. Um, there's a lot of resources out there so we can help with um, restraining orders, we can help with court, we can help with housing, we can help with financing, transportation, um, clothing, anything that they need. What advice would you give to someone dealing with domestic abuse slash sexual assault? If somebody is in a domestic violence uh, situation, the advice I would give them is to be um, proactive, to know their rights, to know um, a safe plan um, which we can help them with, um, and to realize that there's um, other people out there going through the same thing that they are, and that there's a lot of resources available to help them. And what other, um, what other programs can you recommend for people dealing with domestic abuse slash sexual, sexual assault? So domestic violence um, over at STAR on Stanley Street, it's um, a great program. They have groups available, they have counseling available. Um, so there's a lot of resources if they go to STAR um, that, that, that can help them with their situation. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. That wraps up this episode. Um, but real quick, I wanted to show you. I forgot to um, bring this up. This is a um, ribbon. Um, I believe that this ribbon is for domestic abuse awareness. Um, this this is a bracelet. I also got there. New no mass means no more. It says here in English. And here is the organization. It's no more MA. Um, by the way, all the information that I get from the um, the pamphlets strictly applied to. women in the Massachusetts area. I don't know if they can help people outside Massachusetts, stay in Massachusetts. But if I find any other um, organizations, maybe or more national or you know, even international, I will 
posting as well. You know, I'll probably just Google some organizations. Um, but until next time, remember be aware, be safe. And this is Quentin of the Rainbow Liberation, signing off.